and we're back guys welcome to my desktop which really is not what I'm trying to do today today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can bring some of your graphics in 3d onto your recordings let's go ahead and bring it to the forefront so I can show you what's going on now it's been a while I've been here working on putting some things together so I can move on to uh, step two. Usually I jump to step 10. So step 10 here is me showing you how you can bring your Amiga or any other older system. But right now I'm working on the Amiga to bring graphics through and um, go ahead and overlay on your videos and things like that. Right now, I'm gonna put the whole configuration out there. This is a Marshall camera that I'm using right here. That one is a SDI camera. It's still HDMI, but it comes out with a coax cable. So that is going into my Blackmagic converter. My Blackmagic is going to HDMI. The HDMI is going to the video switcher. This is the Roland V1 HD1, oh, HD Plus. So I have it going on to four for a reason. It's a scaler. You can go ahead and control the size of your video and manipulate it and stuff like that. So in this case, showing on my preview, that's my Amiga, right? Now, um, go ahead and going to number three, that's the video from the Marshall. And right now, I also have a still here, which is the Amiga. I could just put that up and down if I wanted to. I could just pull that, that graphic, you know put it back not using that today but I'm also sending out from the black magic design which is the web presenter pro I believe this is the original one I'm bringing in my HDMI here I'm sending it out and I'm recording onto OBS studio that's the majority of what's going on here and of course I have my mic plugged in so now I'm gonna go ahead and give some examples of what I was working on so I saw a guru meditation video before they did like uh, a lower third. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to show you something like that. Hold on. Let's see. Where's the software I'm looking for? P paint. Now I'm going to load up P paint here. I'm going to go ahead and change the format. I want more colors. Okay. Got my colors I'm looking for. Right now, I want to put black on the screen. So let me do a little bit more explanation. You could go ahead and have your graphics overlay and go through. If you use a black background, black will be clear. You won't be able to see what you're doing there. You'll, you will be able to put your image or graphics on the screen and go ahead and make the black clear. So for right now, I'm going to pick a font. I'm going to go to diamond here. And on the diamond, I'm going to do size 20. Sorry about the vehicle passing by there. Just showing the show. I want to put this a little bit lower. So let me bring this downward. See it on the preview. Let's see if I can go ahead and put it up on the screen. But before I put it up on the screen, actually, I should have hit show image. And you could see your lower third is here. You can go ahead and uh, use any uh, graphic you like, but I'm just trying to make an example, right? So this is how you could put up a lower third with your Amiga. Not many people are going to do that. Unless you're super retro, right? So let me go ahead and take that back off. Now, to some of what I was actually attempting to work on here. So I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this. Leave Coanto uh, P Paint. I'm using a Terrible Vire 1260 in here with the 128 megs and the other eight megs and whichever else is going on here. So a lot of the demos that uh, are out here are 
basically have black backgrounds, right? So before I was testing with this, which is the 3D models. You see that there? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's gone. You could go ahead and uh, get this to show through your graphics. Just a quick display of what you can do. But as I was fooling around earlier, I realized that uh, I was just testing things out. I said, hey, let me go ahead and try something like uh, state of the art. Spaceballs demo, right? So I pulled up state of the art and man, it was pretty good. So I'm gonna put my key on. The key is gonna enable me to overlay my graphics. And remember, black is gonna be clear, right? So here we go. I might have to make a few adjustments here. So my key here on the level. But imagine you do uh, some of your 3D renderings or other stuff like that, you got something that you want to put on to your videos, any kind of graphics, any kind of uh, animation or whatever, you have it from a different source, you can go ahead and uh, get that rolling through and uh, do some really crazy effects and uh, put them through. So I was trying to uh, think of another way besides a video toaster that you can get your videos and stuff to uh, graphics, different Amiga art that you want to bring out and uh, go ahead and uh, pull it, put it on the screen, put it through your videos, share it online, share it with your family, whichever, in your production. Just a really different way to uh, bring Amiga back into production without having to possibly do the toaster route and things like that. So, hope you had a good Christmas and have a happy new year. And I look forward to putting more videos out in the future. Thanks for checking me out.